tell me what DNA is? Derby. I have no idea. <laughs> then why did you raise your hand? Participation is worth 30% of our grade. It doesn't count if you don't answer. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that should do it. Would you sign this form so I get credit for debate club? Echo. DNA stands for deoxy ribonucleic acid, which contains the genetic instructions used in the development of all known living organisms. Press enter for more. Oh. Okay, let's all collect our own DNA samples. Everyone, swab the inside of your cheek. And just to be clear, slab the cheek on your face! <laughs> the DNA we inherit from our parents makes us strong. Or different. <laughs> or gives us beautiful hair. Thick, luxurious hair you just want to run your fingers through and smell and snip off a lock to keep under your pillow and... Dude, I know I have nice hair, but you're kind of creeping me out. <laughs> I didn't know you came to pep rallies. Strictly on business. I come to clean up vomit. What vomit? Tell your pappies, tell your mamas, these scrappy jokes are the cats for drummers. No, please put your leg down. Showtime. Where are the real cheerleaders? The school hasn't had any for years. Tater banned them. What? That's the only reason I went to high school. Well, I, for one, think cheerleading is degrading to women. Actually, I've always wanted to be a cheerleader. That's why you should. The world needs more cheer and the people who lead it. I thought you said it was degrading. I say a lot of things. <laughs> now, come on. Let's go and see if we can get you into one of those short little cheerleader skirts. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Those are the times I have my nap. <laughs> How could you do this to these poor girls who want nothing more than to shake their pom poms? It's not a big deal. That's right. It's an enormous deal. While it's true that I banned cheerleaders, it was for a very good reason. You hate spirit and anyone who has it? On the contrary. When I was a student here, I was the school mascot. I oozed spirit and other stuff. But that mostly cleared up in my 30s. So why did you get rid of the cheerleaders? Ah, the great mascot incident of 85. I was supposed to be leading the pep rally, but I couldn't find my chicken head. About that, why would the school pick a chicken as its symbol? Were the scaredy cats taken? It was supposed to be the Finnegan Friars, you know, like Friar Tuck. But the guy at the uniform store was a former butcher and thought we meant the smallest type of chicken sold suitable for frying, as opposed to the slightly larger broiler or the plump and juicy roaster. You carry around a poultry chart? I get this question a lot. I lost my head. I lost my head. Go with your jets. You're running around like a chicken who lost its head. I know. <laughs> Have you seen my head? Have you seen my fist? Wait, <laughs> like, here it is. Bodacious. <laughs> Brody to the max. Someone put glue in my chicken head. I can't follow all this 80s slang. What does glue in my chicken head mean? It means your mother put glue in my chicken head. My mother? Yes. I looked over at her, 
and she had glue all over her hands. The glue dried, and I was stuck wearing that head for a week. Eventually, I had to take drastic measures. <laughs> Unfortunately, the head wasn't the only thing that came off. And as long as I'm principal, we will never, ever, ever, never have them in this school. And if you want to blame someone for that, blame your mother. OK, just take it easy. There are lots of advantages to being bald. Name one. Well, you don't have to spend all of your money on shampoo. Or conditioner. Or dates. This is about cheerleaders, not hair products. Or my conscious decision to focus on my career. <laughs> I want answers, Missy, and I want them now. Answers? Answers about what? Don't play coy with me, sister. You stole Tater's hair! And broke the heart of cheerleading's next generation. Look at this woman. She's crestfallen. I wouldn't say crestfallen. You see that? You've made her so upset, she doesn't even know how she feels. <laughs> the least you could do for this poor girl is dig out her old cheerleader costume, let her try it on, and teach her a couple of moves. Like that hip shake thing. about the great cheerleader frame-up of 85. <laughs> I'm, like, totally gonna be late for the pep rally! <laughs> you, like, totally should have thought of that before you failed to turn in your collage on the War of 1812. <laughs> but there are no photos of the War of 1812. Don't you tell me when photos were invented! <laughs> I posed for George Eastman. Wear nothing but a parasol and a toothy smile. <laughs> Now, get to work. So I sat there cutting and pasting pictures from a pile of cat magazines until she finally fell asleep. <laughs> when I got to the pep rally, Tater was looking for his chicken head. I lost my head. I lost my head! Cool your jets! You're running around like a chicken who... Lost its head, I know! <laughs> like, here it is! Bodacious! Brody <laughs> to the mat! Tater saw glue on my hands and blamed me. <gasps> I am so telling on you. <laughs> but that glue was from my War of 1812 cat collage. Unfortunately, I had no proof. <laughs> I was suspended for a week, even though I was innocent. Well, don't worry. We are going to clear your name. It's not a big deal. That's right. It's an enormous deal. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Tater is still really mad at you. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have laughed at his bald head when I got back from suspension. <laughs> then, for the next two years. And at the PTA meeting last week. How could you? You've broken the heart of... <laughs> Who has heard of the war? 
1812. Forget 1812. I want to know what happened in 85. Ah, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. Would you stop that? I want to know what happened in 1985. Ah, oh, yes. The great spirit day of 85. I remember it like it was yesterday. Are we totally going to be late to the pep rally? You like totally should have thought of that before you failed to turn in your collage on the War of 1812. Uh, now get to work. But when I looked over to see how she was doing, I noticed she had something all over her hands. Help! Oh, she's blind! There was something strange in the neighborhood. We were haunted. <laughs> but luckily, those nice men with the backpacks showed up and saved the day. Lot of Ghostbusters. Shh. Let her finish. I love this movie. Wait, why aren't you two working on your War of 1812 collages? No, we now no, get we to work. Just... And I want you to make something that has all the detail and historical accuracy of this. Why do you have that chicken head? Why do you have those donkey ears? He's talking about this. Well, that makes more sense. Fish lips. I keep mementos from my past here. I've got lots of junk in my trunk. Yeah, we saw the whole caboose show earlier. Okay, I found two DNA samples in the chicken head. One is Tater's. How do you know? It came from this. <laughs> and the other one came from a skin sample I found on the glue. I'm analyzing it now. Wait a second. This sample is remarkably similar to Slab's. I know he's not the sharpest cheese in the Tex-Mex blend, but Slab hasn't been held back for 25 years. <laughs> it must have been his father. He was there when it happened. Well, we'll need proof. I'm afraid we're gonna have to get a DNA sample from Slab Sr. No problem. Maybe after that we can find Tater a date. <laughs> For the last time, I'm making a conscious decision to focus on my career. <laughs> Mr. Slabinski, thank you for coming in to discuss your son's progress. You're a kid. True, but I'm also his science teacher, which is why I... How old are you? <laughs> Not really relevant to the conference, but uh, I'll be 15 in March. You're kidding me. You're only... <laughs> wow. Mm. I guess the fruit ball doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going. Don't mind, Dang. He's just here cleaning up. Welcome. Mr. Slavinsky, as you may know, your son isn't doing very well in my class. Dang, I can't hear over your vacuuming. A party. I hang head in shame. Careful. You might accidentally remove some hair from his head. That's not gonna happen. I'm completely hairless from head to toe. I suffer from full body alopecia. What? about Russia's rocks which grow from scalp bright crystal waters in Mekong River. Hair, sideburns, even the sweet stash. It's 100% alpaca, fused to my flesh with a hot glue gun. Of course it is. Dang. Why don't you throw out Mr. Slabinski's cup for him? 
Yes, Mr. Young. Whoa! This is Deli gives free refills. I've had this cup since 92. <laughs> One more daisy and you'll feel the sting of my hairless fist. Worry not. Your secrets will remain with me for all eternity. Anyways, I don't care if you keep failing my kid. Public school. It's free. Wait, don't go. Uh, uh, dang my screenshots, precious. Oh, bless you. Uh. Oh. Well, I guess we got some DNA. Hey! Go! What's going on here? I can explain. <laughs> Is it really you? <laughs> My twin brother, Ding. Yes, thanks. So good to see you. Do not touch me, brother demon! <laughs> you are not forgiven for the disgrace you brought upon our family. <laughs> Ding, Mary Duck. Ding's wife's name is Duck? Her name not Duck. She a quack, quack. Her name's Shirley. <laughs> you must pay for shame you bring, family. <laughs> I waited a long time for this brother. Da, 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 da. Where? Which is over? This can't be. Slab's father's DNA shares genetic markers with Slab, but not with the DNA sample we found in the chicken head. <laughs> if the sample in the chicken head didn't come from Slab's father, it must have come from... Where's my skirt chaser of a husband? Slab's mother? <laughs> I guess there are worse things to marry than duck. <laughs> We've solved the mystery. Well, it's hardly a mystery. That's clearly a dude. I'm old woman! Ow! We uncovered the truth about what happened with the chicken head. Yeah, Slab's mom told us the whole story. I thought the great Tater screamed like a baby girl in Sentence of 85. <laughs> That's my favorite name so far. <laughs> Mrs. Slobinski had the hugest crush on one of the football players. <sighs> He's so handsome. Hasselhoff handsome. <laughs> but the cheerleaders were all over him, especially this one floozy. <sighs> I want to kiss you. Open wide, Pac-Man. <laughs> I'm really hoping she remembered that wrong. Later, Mrs. Slabinski noticed that Rachel had glue on her hands and saw an opportunity to bring her. I lost my head. I lost my head. Bodacious. <laughs> Ew, Brody to the max. My mother was suspended for a week. And Mrs. Slabinski made her move. responsible for this yeah got a problem with that tater <laughs> no sir ma'am whatever 
So you see, my mom had nothing to do with it. Fine, but she's still not welcome at the next PTA meeting. But you are going to reinstate the cheerleaders, right? I guess I am. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, goody! I have a daughter coming to the school next year. Let's start with a one-year trial period. <laughs> Lunar school could be so awesome, huh? Even Mr. Tater's getting into the spirit, surprising his role as a Finnegan Friar. I guess there's no glue in the chicken head this time, huh, Mr. Tater? Nope. I made sure to triple check before putting this on. <laughs> suit seems to be stuck. <laughs> Derby? I didn't do it, I swear. Uh-oh. Derby! <laughs> Derby! How disappointing. No vomit today. Wait for me, girls. The train can't leave without the caboose. Woo! <laughs> 